Robin and Sedona here and I'm going to show you the way that I do the application. There are countless ways to do the application process of your Jamboree nail wraps but I'm going to show you my way. I experiment, find the way that works best for you. Now as I told you in an earlier video I have made my own permanent template and you can see here I'm going to use the Vintage Chick and the Raspberry Sparkle and I have already drawn out where I'm going to be cutting. So I'm going to start with this pinky. Generally what I do is I do uh, the last three fingers on both hands. doesn't matter for me if I do left or right because I'm left-handed but I am pretty ambidextrous so it doesn't matter. But And then I save these, the index fingers and the thumbs for last just because those are the ones I'm using. So it just makes sense to me. So I'm going to start with my pinky right and you can see I have pinky right right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my heater. Now the way that I do it is a little different than the basic application that Jamberry tells you about and I'll explain to you why I do that. So you can see on here I have pinky right and what I actually do is I take my little uh, manicure scissors and I just tip, put the tip underneath the wrap. All right, And I'm going to cut right where that line's at. So I'm going to actually have to turn it so I can see what I'm doing. but. At least now you know what I'm doing. So I'm going to just cut it right there on that line. So I've cut it through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my orange stick and I'm just going to bend. See how it just lifts right there? And you never want to touch the wrap with your finger itself. So I just put it on my orange stick, lift it up gently. Now what I'm going to do is just lay it down. I know that Jamberry says to heat it first, but I found this way works better for me. So I'm going to lay it down, just lay it very gently, line it up to the back of my nail and just touch it down ever so slightly. Okay, now I'm going to heat it. So I'll heat it up right here to my mini heater just for a few seconds and then now I'm going to take my rubber cuticle pusher and start to push it down, get it in place get really close to the edge of my finger so I get a really nice application. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually trim off the massive excess. I usually don't leave it quite this long but I did this time because I wasn't getting a real good angle to cut it. Just get that off to the side. Now I take a baggie and a lot of people talk about the, the baggie method and I have a pretty heavy duty one here. It was a freezer one. Just wrap it really tight around that that uh, fingernail and then put it up to the heat and then just apply a lot of pressure and this is how I do it sometimes I've seen people use like a rice bag to push it into and that works too but this is the method that works best for me I get the fastest application doing it this way now I'm going to give it one more quick thing in just a couple seconds to push it down one more time and then what I'm going to actually do is just leave that alone well, I do all the rest of my nails. So we're going to come back in a little bit and I'm going to show you how I finish this all up. Till next time.